watch and see as the two animals... Oh, she's not even looking at it. <laughs> Tina, you wanted to know if the Nyala would be able to smell the kill, the carcass? Yes, he would, but not yet. The wind is blowing slightly from the southeast of where we are, so as he passes by now... No way! She's running towards the cubs. I just heard them in there. Is that them there? Racing towards her. What on earth happened there? I can't reposition. Oh, it's baboons. Oh, dear. Tandy and her little cubs. Her little cubs are just to the north of us. She's scaring them away. She's trying to chase them away. They're big male baboons chasing her. There's one little cub. Run, little cub. There's one little cub has made it into some dense vegetation. The male baboon's still chasing her into Chitwa. There's impala scattering everywhere. We can't do anything. We just have to wait. We just have to sit this one out. This is a serious interaction. There are the rest of the baboons waiting for the male. There goes the cub, there goes the cub. He's just ducked into the thick vegetation there. I have no idea where the other one is. The little cub's just moved into some very, very thick vegetation there. Stay there, little cub, stay there. Don't come out. Shame, she rushed to the defense of her cubs and drew the ire of the big male baboon. And the three troublemakers are sitting there. Oh, my heart's going so fast. This is now the second. Look, there's another. What are those baboons? What if they haven't got anything up in that tree, do they? The speed with which she moved. All of the baboons up the tree. There's nothing we can do here except sit. There's one at the base where the cub was. I only saw one cub run out. I have no idea where the other is. The baboons are actually scared of Tundi as well. The females with the youngsters have gone up into the tree. They're also afraid. And the big male baboon acted to actually defend the rest of the troop. But there are stories of baboons catching and killing leopard cubs. And I'm really hoping that that's not the case now. I don't know where, I don't know where Tundi is at all. I'm going to turn on my game drive radio. I know that there was another vehicle that can drive into Chitwa. Okay, I'm just going to keep it on and just keep listening to whatever happened. I saw the little cub run to safety. I know that one of them is okay. I haven't seen any baboons following it in, but I have absolutely no idea where the second cub is. The baboons are still stalking around there. Tundi tried to save them. The big male baboon came after her. Now, a big male baboon, there's a massive sexual dimorphism between the females and the males. These are f either young males or females walking past us now, but a, a male baboon is twice their weight and up to close to 30 kilograms in size. And they will actively defend the troop, and they have an out-and-out -out enmity with leopards. Uh, big baboons have known to band to have been known to band together to chase away leopards. The mother monkeys are coming down the tree now. There's nothing we can do. We just have to wait. And James Richard, my heart as well. Tundi did an amazing job of scaring, or at least distracting the baboons away from her cub, and I think she's been successful. I really do. I think she's managed to succeed. She raced forward to defend them. So James Richards says that his heart is beating. Mine is as well. She raced forward to defend the cubs, and I think what she did is she drew the attention away from her cubs. And the one cub managed to get there. Hopefully the other cub has managed to go in there. If the baboons had the second cub, we would know about it by now. We would see it. And I haven't seen any of the baboons showing any interest in stuff around them, which means there's a very good chance that Atundi's cubs are okay. 
I know that one is fine. I saw one get away. I don't know where it is now. It's going to go into hiding. Instinct's going to tell it to stay down. This one female has got a tiny, tiny little baby with her, so she would also have been terrified. And this is where the true enmity between a baboons and leopards truly comes into play. I can still hear him shouting at Tandy. He's far away now. He's gone all the way to the Mwati drainage. I can hear the deep booming Bahu barks. And that is the thing about live safaris that was so totally unpredictable. I thought for one crazy, crazy second she was going towards her, going towards the Anyala. There's a little baby there, distracted and confused. And when it comes down to it, being shepherded away. When it comes down to it, that is what that male baboon was doing. They disturbed the leopard cubs, she rushed to protect them, and then he responded by attempting to protect his troop, by trying to chase her away. I have no idea where she's gone now. She's south of our Travis area. There's nothing we can do but wait. I know there is a cub here because I saw it disappear into the vegetation behind me. And the only thing I can suggest now is that we wait. We wait and find out where she's gone and what has happened. She can't even take to the trees. There you go. Liz, you wanted to know how on earth do you escape baboons? They climb trees and are as agile as the leopards. She's just got to outrun it and at some point it will he will lose interest in her, I hope. So leopards and baboons are pretty much on even footing when it comes to tree climbing, so you're absolutely right. What the cub did, what instinct told that little cub to do was exactly right, was spot on. Get into the thickest vegetation that it could and hide and go completely still. I have no idea where the second cub is, but I think we would know by now. If the baboons had caught it, we would know, we would have seen it. They're highly, highly curious creatures and what would probably have happened is they would have formed a circle around it. So it's not like a situation with a hyena or a lion. The baboons will actually come and investigate and see what's going on, the whole group of them. And that's not what's happened here. So this cub is, the second cub is okay. It's probably somewhere in here. I can still hear him barking. Come on, Tandy. Echoing across the valley, the deep sound of his barking. We're going to wait patiently here. There's nothing more that we can do. We just have to wait and see if she returns. And while we do that, let's head back across to James in the tent. <laughs> 